Greg Griffin with Harnett County Schools, uh, Recruitment and Retention in Human Resources. And I just wanted to talk for a minute about our, applica our application system uh, that we use locally and how to edit your application specifically because we've had lots of questions that pop up about that. So when you go to our district website and click on careers and then click on apply for jobs here, that will take you to our frontline system, applatrack.com, where we house um, our applications digitally uh, for the district. Okay, and um, I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. So the vacancies are divided into different categories over here. We have, uh, for most of our uh, teachers that are coming in, uh, would be interested in elementary school teaching link, middle school teaching link, high school teaching link, um, and maybe the student support services exceptional children's link. Uh, TAs would be more concerned with the support staff and then the teacher assistant link there, okay? Um, but when you arrive here, you can see that you can either come over here and browse vacancies or you can log in. Now the log in is mainly for those of us that have already started an application, uh, created an account, we input some information, we saved it and now we're coming back. Or maybe we want to come back in and log in and, um, and, and apply for a new listing, but all our information is already in there, okay? So that's kind of what I want to focus on today. Now, real quick, if you haven't started, to get started, you could just come over here and pick a job, any job really, and click on of the red apply box and it, the system will pop up. Uh, you're going to get the same pop up if you uh, arrive here and click on the login right there. So I want to go back in and edit my application. So I'm just going to, I'm already logged in because I was playing with this a minute ago, but you would log back in and then we would click on edit. All right. And when we get here, there are all these different little departments in the system, little, little sections, right? And you want to make sure that each of these is uh, correct and updated. Mine is not. <laughs> I've moved since they, since then, but that's okay. Um, but the the and all of these are important. But the one that I want to focus on right now is the vacancy desired number three. Okay. So some of you have started the application. You've asked me if you've applied for a certain job and. I can see that you have input your information, but I don't see that you've applied for a specific vacancy. So you want to come in here and you can unfold these if they're folded up. Okay. And you can look at the, you can scroll down to the different categories. And um, for example, somebody was asking me about a, a PE position earlier. Okay. I can see that there is one right here. And if I want to apply for that, I would click on that. Now, there's action required. It says, in order to be fully considered for this new section, you must complete any additional questions associated. So you're going to come here to the uh, statement. Okay. And then after you have done that, okay. And oh, there's a little here that you have. How many years of experience do you have in similar positions? Don't forget about that. And then you can either save it as a draft where when you log back in, that information will still be here. Or you can go ahead and once you're happy that all of this looks, looks like how it's supposed to look, you can click on finish and submit. This is real important down here. If you don't click on the finish and submit button at the bottom, then you will not be considered for the new jobs that you have checked off on, which I'm going to uncheck these now because um, I don't want to apply for these right now. But anyway, I hope this helps. Um, there's been some confusion about editing the application, so I hope this tutorial will help you. Let us know if you have any questions.